Hi, thank you for watching a new video blog. Simple ways by reaching your goal of going off grid. The growing interest in going off grid and returning back to nature, living a simpler life, become self sustaining, is growing day by day. People see now the facade of civilization, the disease of the civilization, and they want to return back to nature. And you see this everywhere. Uh, when you talk to people, uh, at least they're aware that um, you have to get closer to nature again. Um, this difference from uh, the levels that, that they see this, but in general, I noticed that compared to uh, 20 years ago, uh, you get laughed at when you say something like, I want to uh, live in, a, in the forest or I want to live in a small hut. People just were laughing. They just thought that was uh, funny or, or, or silly and uh, they didn't consider it really uh, an option, but it's in many people's minds it's something that they dream of. Um, this is the first step, of course. It's very great that uh, there comes an idea in their head, a uh, visualization, um, like um, a prophecy or something that uh, life is better when you uh, live off grid, self sustaining in nature, close to nature. So that's great, but they find it really, really hard to um, to make it like something uh, concrete. That's something that they um, really live live like. Um, that's that's the, the the sad thing about it. Is they uh, they keep it like uh, this dream, like oh one day I will do this, 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 this. But they need to wake up the next morning to rush to their work, to get uh, under stress, stay in a building the whole day. Um, work for somebody else, offer your um, your human energy, your human time, uh, in order to be able to even stay alive, to live a normal life. Um, uh, yeah. So, how can you make this more concrete? How can you uh, realize your uh, dream of going off grid? Um, one thing is what makes it all very, very easy is if you start living on a primal, more carnivore-based diet that consists of eating eggs, raw eggs mainly, raw milk, uh, meat and fish. If you only uh, need these products and you can survive the best on this, it's the best diet. It's the the most, the highest, most quality diet that there is. Um, but many people still think that they need fruits, that they need vegetables. Um, I do eat fr fruits when it's um, time for fruits. Now, for example, it's summer. I do eat fruits because um, it's time for fruits, so, uh, and it's nice. I eat strawberries, I eat blackberries, blueberries, uh, melon, watermelon. That's fine, but I don't need it. If it's not there, I'm fine. Uh, but if you go back to nature, you will find the blueberries and the blackberries and the strawberries easily. But you need to focus on removing all your need for agricultural foods. Get rid of it. You only need eggs, milk, cheese, uh, meat, fish. This is what you need, what you, what you can survive on. And this makes it so much easier to, uh, to go off grid, I've noticed. Because you just, you can buy eggs anywhere, and I would recommend organic eggs. Um, you can store them in, your, uh, in the place that you stay in. You can keep them, uh, you don't need a refrigerator for it. You can uh, easily survive them. Super simple, you don't need to cook them, you eat them raw, I drink them raw. Uh, I show you in this video, you can look, um, I put the link to the video under this video in the comments. And, and, and that's, that's already your breakfast, it's, it's done, it's easy, you can travel anywhere you want if you uh, want to live off grid with, for example, um, a van, and you take them with you easily. The same with meat, you can buy anywhere meat, you can buy uh, salami, which is raw meat, fermented raw meat, um, I made a video this one about my raw meat lunch. It's full of nutrition, it's healthy, it has all the fat soluble vitamins that you need. 
uh, you, 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 you thrive on animal fats. So there you go, another very simple solution for making going off grid easier. Raw milk, now you have applications, for example, Lekkerder in Holland, this one. Uh, you can uh, find farmers near you that offer you a raw milk, for example, or organic meat for a decent price. So you can always find your meat. And it's easy. You don't have to. You don't have to stretch. You need to get rid of the idea that you need agricultural products. Most people, when I see that they live off grid or when they want to live self-sustaining, the problem is their garden. I follow these groups on Facebook and I see that they're struggling to even get a, 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 a decent harvest. Not even a good harvest. A decent and uh, not even decent. Maybe an okay harvest to so just have a little bit of uh, of their harvest of their potatoes of their uh, celery of their whatever tomatoes it's so hard to farm it's so hard to farm yourself you you are depending on so many many uh, factors the rain now for example we have a a very strong drought in uh, in holland it hasn't been raining for weeks now so Everything is dry. All your plants are dead. You cannot uh, live off your plants anymore. And besides that, I even if you have a good harvest, you have to wait until, uh, what is it, September, October. You need to harvest quickly. And then, what are you going to do? You need to store it, you need to prepare it, you need to um, put it in, 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 in pots and uh, find a place to store it with all the problems that it's causing. You need to travel with these things. It's such a, you have to let go. Number one thing, if you want to go off-grid, leave the idea of vegetables, fruits, agricultural products, grains, leave it. You don't need it. There's no, absolutely uh, no serious amount of uh, nutritional value in it. Uh, vegetables and fruits, uh, there is some. Um, but you can easily live without. I've lived without fr eating fruits for five, six years. No problem. I'm, I was the healthiest as I've been. I'm still super healthy. Uh, you don't need this. You can go, for example, fishing. In Holland you can buy the Vispas, buy yourself a small, simple uh, set of fishing gear and fish, fish your dinner. Uh, wh whether you stay, you can make a small barbecue, you can make a small fire uh, if you don't want to eat the fish raw. You can go find oysters in, uh, in the province of Zeeland, uh, here in Holland. Uh, for free, it's all for free. The fish you can take it for free. You can eat it. There's um, now we have these lobsters, these small lobsters, and a river lobster. Hope I'm saying this correctly. Uh, but you can find, you can you can take them, you can cook them. It's it's all there. You you can survive on animal products. You don't need vegetables. You don't need fruits. You don't absolutely don't need any sugar or grains. Leave them out. You don't need to farm. You don't need agriculture. You don't need onions. You don't need paprikas. Live off your animal-based products. You can find it anywhere. It's very easy. You don't need to cook it because that's the second thing that's very troublesome when you um, eat vegetables. You cannot eat them raw. Your meat you can eat raw. Even if, for example, you don't. Uh, now there's the drought in Holland. I cannot make a fire in the place where I'm staying because it will burn down uh, the whole place. The grass is just dead. Um, it's a danger. So, but it's easy. I go to my local farmer. I buy um, a, a, a liver, or I buy meat like a steak, or. I buy pork belly or anything else and I can just eat it raw. I don't need fire. I don't need to cook it. I don't need pots and pans. Uh, I do use them. I do make barbecues because I enjoy it. But you don't need it. You can easily travel and just if you know where there's a butcher or where there's a farmer that uh, sells you uh, animal products, you're fine. So. Yeah, that's the number one thing that you need to let go if you go off-grid, self-sustaining, etc. Drop the whole agricultural um, lifestyle, uh, food that you think that you need but you don't need. Number one thing, you, you, your life will be so much easier if you just have this removed from your life. 
I did this and it's just, my life is so simple. You can even buy canned fish and take it with you for, for years. You don't, uh, it's not healthy, it's not super healthy because there's heavy metals in it, but if you want to survive, and uh, it, it's better than, uh, than, than growing a garden and thinking that you need this. You can hunt if you are smart, you know where to hunt, how to hunt, um, even with, with gear that you make yourself. You don't need to, uh, like I say, fishing gear. It's all so simple. You don't need to stress about vegetables, sugar, grains. It's all garbage. It's your life is easier. I see, like I said, see this in the Facebook groups. People are struggling to even have an, a little bit of harvest, and and there's insects eating their plants, there's birds eating their plants, there's there's uh, wild pigs uh, turning their soil around. It's just a mess. You 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 absolutely don't need it. Focus on animal products. Your life is going to be simple, and it makes going off grid super super easy in this perspective. I will do, a, this is the first one of a few videos that I make about uh, tips about going off-grid, self-sustaining and um, keep watching for my, uh, my next video. If you like the video, give my uh, video a thumbs up of course and uh, subscribe. Um, you help me with this immensely. That was it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.